Barnett's administration's questionable and very selective sources of consultation continued when they referred to the Natal Sharks Board in South Africa for recommendations on how to proceed. South African white shark conservation pioneer Craig Ferreira helps explain how the long-term negative consequences extend beyond the immediate death of sharks. What's happened over the years, we've got a situation now in Natal where the tourism along the coastline is completely dependent on the psychological fact that the Natal Sharks Board are protecting the beaches. And if you take nets away from any one of those beaches, the tourism there will stop. People will go to another beach rather. Because they're so impregnated with this, the psychology that the nets are there. If you take the nets away, they're going to get eaten by sharks. So they could actually be contributing to setting up a damaging psychological setting that could last for many years to come. Oh, absolutely. They're creating more fear. I mean, uh, you know, here's yes, the country, the government of the country wanting to go out and hunt, declare war on the great white shark. And what do you declare war on? You declare war on an enemy. So you put into people's mind that there's an enemy out there and we've got to go kill them. And the fact that we've got to go kill them means that they're dangerous and, you know, they're going to come and eat people. So it's, people are weird. People are... When it comes to sharks, people are freaks. They, they get completely emotional about things. I mean, people, I bet you that's people in Australia that champion the, 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 the hunting of the white sharks. They've never seen the ocean before. Mm. They live somewhere in the freaking ghoulies up there and they hillbillies, but they read the papers and they watch the TV. But they never see the ocean, they never see a white shark. 